My name's Tim Thurston from Team I. I'm with Jamie Martin of Correct Careers Coaching, and today we're going to be talking about well-being in the workplace. Some um, staggering stats that 137 million working days are lost each year as a cost, at a cost of 40 billion to the UK economy, and mental health is the key driver of that nowadays. In fact, 73% of employees experience poor mental health, but only half of those affected actually tell their manager. That's staggering, Jamie, isn't it? Yeah, and mental well-being and health has is, is been topic of interest um, in, in more in recent years. Burnout actually being recognised now as a condition. But when we're looking at current situations, you know, during the COVID time and, and, and post-reintegration, you know, employees coming back from furlough and, and having to relearn roles, the culture is going to be different, the environment is going to be different. I think mental health is, is going to be, you know, a topic of interest. And those stats, you know, are really just a shame to hear. And it's either because that the organisation, they don't have or they don't monitor um, uh, well-being and mental health at this moment. I believe one in four organisations don't, don't have that um, tools and techniques yet. And also for the employee, uh, self-awareness and, you know, the, the, the time for them to actually learn the information and, and look after themselves, it might not be available. And unless the businesses are, you know, providing that to its staff and employees, I fortunately have been in some organisations before where there have been some, some you know, content on, on mental health and wellbeing. But for a lot of businesses, it, it's, a, it's a step they need to take in the right direction, I think. Absolutely. Mental health is as important as physical health. People can clearly see and understand physical health much easier because mental health is often veiled. So it is getting people awareness, the point that you've made there, making people aware of what good mental health looks like, what bad mental health looks like, and the drivers of those, understanding how anxiety and stress manifests in the working place. Now, of course, stress is, is important. Um, it's, it's, it's positive stress. We all need some form of stress to perform that's proven you know to, to drive us to get our adrenaline going but it's getting that balance isn't it and the first port of call is clearly making people aware i think of what the drivers of poor mental health are in the workplace what do you think yeah i mean and you mentioned stress uh, another stat 57 percent of all long-term sickness is actually due to stress and i and, and that is because like you said, it's, it's first of all making people, uh, making employees aware of it, but also for the employee to to be aware of it themselves. You know, there's, uh, you know, we mentioned before, but presenteeism. Uh, you know, you're doing the role and you're experiencing, you know, probably. Um, to diminished, uh, you know, mental uh, well-being um, parts of yourself. You know, whether it's whether it's you know sleep problems, or whether it's not you know the nutrition, not eating well, or whether it's just your mood and personality has changed. And that's all signs that lead into that stress and anxiety you are experiencing. But you're not you know necessarily feeling. Could you do something about it, or are there some resources to help you do something about it? And that's why businesses now need to be looking at. Okay, so how can we you know what can we provide staff how can we monitor staff and you know that they are um having the investment within them but also are actually staff um you know following up with it and applying um these areas to, to their work and to their life because effectively um if, if they are feeling like symptoms such as stress the, the, the performance and productivity is going to be lower and you know it's, it's unfortunately going to have um, negative consequences for the employee themselves indeed there's a lot of information around about mental health and talking about it seems to be the key driver i'm what i'm interested in and, and what i was always interested in when i employed people is the practical application and i want to see some changes i want to see people um improve be able to improve and, and support people to improve them so yes talking about it is one but i do think that there needs to be practical advice and and uh solutions in place that's why i'm really excited about the, the team doctor project that you and I are involved with Jamie where we've just created a course now haven't we a mental health awareness course that I think um, it should be made available to everybody I do really think that mental health awareness is so important that it should be part of everybody's induction. Yeah, and you know, we both because you know the values we have and and what Team Doctor and and the course now can do, we're excited to you know that the passion we have behind how it can help individuals. I think you know is is why you know we're so you know brought on to you know the next steps with Team Doctor. But like you said, 
it's it's having something that you know it's not it's not just made aware to you but you're actually processing the information you're learning the information you're retaining the information and you're actually applying it to to yourself but also within an organization and if i put my sort of sales training hat on and from sort of an academic um background you know if we look at different learning styles there's a framework i've, I've always sort of followed it's dale edgar the cone of learning and it basically emphasizes that we remember 90 percent of what we do um, not just what we hear or what we say so when you have a course available you've got the time to actually in your own in your own pace um, process the information learn the information do practical activities like the team doctor mental health course has got make some notes to refer to and you know it gives you some practical examples of you know actually applying the information and i think when you when you've when you've set your mind so you're having the right mindset to sit there take a course for you know a, a accreditation a certificate or even to upskill yourself in, in a certain subject matter you are actually you know already got the mindset to say right i'm going to learn this course i want to apply it to my own self i want to apply it to help others and by actually doing a course you you are processing the information in in the you know the, the cognitive part of your mind to actually learn it and retain it to be useful in the next steps for the course i mean what's your thoughts on you know courses you've done before tim how you can actually apply it into a, an organizational situation well, I suppose the, the obvious example are the health and safety courses that at the time you think, oh, why on earth have I got to learn how to sit properly and, and use a screen properly? But clearly, the, because of the problems that that had caused over the years for so many employees, it's actually a government directive, isn't it? That, that each organisation has to ensure that an individual knows how to actually effectively use those materials. That's kind of the same same line for me. I do think it's serious enough that, you know, in an ideal world, the government would say, these are the things that you need to cover. Health and safety has covered all those physical things for many, many years. And now it's time to, to cover those other issues, I'd suggest. Yeah, and, you know, I don't want to look at it like in some, there's, uh, you know, tick boxes for, you know, organisations. I know they, they do need to show compliance, whether it's health and safety, whether it's state protection, whatever it may be. Um, and, and it's good to have these courses updated, you know, or revisit them annually. Um, but I think when you look at sort of like a bit more of a, a targeted course or a specialist course, such as the Team Doctors Mental Health course within a certain area, and I believe it's got two points on the CPD um, uh, uh, accreditation, um, it's actually, you know, it's actually providing employees to say, you know, this, this is something we've gone above and beyond to invest uh, within staff and, and say we're talking about wellbeing at this point in time. Here's, here's the materials available. Here's the resources available. It's going to give you the uh, opportunity to learn expert advice um, in, your, in your own way and, 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 and understand what it actually means to you and, and, and the, the others around you. Um, and this is going to then help you in your role because, you know, you can then demonstrate to others that, you know, you take, you've undertaken the extra hours uh, to do a course. Uh, you've got credibility and practical knowledge. Um, and, and effectively, I think people who take these courses generally just, you know, want to share, share information, share knowledge, constantly having a growth mindset to continue their own uh, learning and, and skills and effectively to help others in such an integral topic uh, as well being um so you know just just a couple of you know areas and tips really regarding um courses um it's it's, it's great to, to show evidence that you've gone and learned information i.e you know have some certificate um or practical knowledge that you can actually apply and speak you know expertly about um and that also it it can actually help to encourage engagement and conversation you know you mentioned you opened with a start at the start of this call um you know uh, this, this this clip um about you know employees not uh, being aware of mental health or talking to their managers about it so when there's a course involved that can really encourage um it, you know engagement talking about a course and actually applying it and, and rolling that out you know throughout the employees you know whether you've got a specialist mental health trainer within the business or someone who's done an accredited course such as this one absolutely well done jamie if anybody's interested in the team doctor course they can contact you i think can't they uh, yeah, so jamie at teamdoctor.org. Thanks, Jamie.